first into the den are husband and wife Joel and Nikki Buckley. Hi, my name's Joel. We dream of painting a greener picture in the world of DIY. We really care about what we do. OK. Yeah, let's do this. The mission that we're on is honest. Yep. Ah, that looks like environmentally friendly decorating. Oh, interesting. And they know exactly who they want to marry up to in their sustainable enterprise. So a dream really team good. would be Deborah and Stephen. Yeah. But Sarah could be quite interesting for us oh, too. Oh, we did say Sarah, didn't yeah, yeah. we? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But we'll see. Sorry to computer. <laughs> Hello, my name's Joel. My name is Nikki. Um, we're from Eco Union Limited. We sell a range of sustainable decorating tools to the trade and DIY. And so we'd like to invite offers of £85,000 for 10% of the company. We purchased our business in 2019 and we're pleased to say that in the last two months we've turned over 149000 So we sell a whole range of decorating products, but we want to tell you today about paint trays. I'm sure all of you have got these somewhere in a shed or a garage, but unless you meticulously cleaned it last time you used it, you're going to get spots of paint in there. And then what's going to happen is you're going to put the new paint over the top, you're going to roll up and down the wall, and it's going to leave spots and splodges everywhere. So we want to tell you about our eco tray. This is made of sugarcane bagasse, and it's certified carbon neutral. And unlike your plastic paint tray, where you have to then go and wash it out, putting the paint down the sink, which is bad for the environment, with these, you simply leave the paint in the bottom of it, and then when you come to use it again, the paint's in there and it's got no flaking like you might have with the plastic one. And you can use them again and again, um, but if you decide you want to get rid of it, you can just crush it, and then it can just go into the, the dustbin. There's a sample of some of our products in your boxes, and if anybody feels like uh, having a go at painting, we've got aprons, don't worry. Oh, I'd love to. <laughs> yes, come on, Sarah. Sustainable decorating tools is the business Joel and Nikki Buckley are pitching to the dragons. Look at that. So there's no flaking at all. That paint's not going to mix in any way with the blue. They're asking for £85,000 in return for a 10% stake in their company. And how many times do you recommend people use it before they would dispose of it? You can use it as many times as you need to or want to. Crafting guru Sarah Davies has had her creative fix. Thanks, Sarah. That's great painting, by the way. Great Thank job. <laughs> yeah. But Tuka Suleiman is the first to brush up on the business. Joel and Nikki. Yes, hi. Very impressive pitch. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Going to focus initially on how you got round to purchasing this business? So we've bought and sold various businesses as well as done startups from, from grassroots. And we've done sustainable businesses before. We knew we, we wanted to buy another sustainable business. And this business, when we found it, it, it hit all those criteria. And what, what have you done to it since you bought it? We have got a background in marketing, so we wanted to um, rebrand. Um, so that's one of the main things that we did. And we've added some SKUs, and we've also looked at how we can get a better profit margin across the product range. Right, what are you forecasting for the next 12 months? So we are on the edge of signing up a couple of um, large retailers, Dunnell Mill and Juicen's Partnership Solutions. So we're expecting, with this 12 months, um, 1.5 million. So you're really going to... Go for it. And where, where are you based? Exeter. Uh, in Exeter, yep. Can I, can I, I'm going to cut in Joel and Nicky. I really like what you've done, but I'm already up against it, I think. Because, okay. So you've gone DIY, you've gone eco, and now you've gone Devon. <laughs> <laughs> Deborah Meaden. Do you mind? I'm doing a poker face here. Do you mind? <laughs> so I'm going to have to up my game. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Jones is feeling the pressure as he discovers the sustainably driven duo appear to be ticking several of Deborah Meaden's boxes. But the Den's environmental trailblazer now wants to find out just how planet-friendly the pair's paint tray really is. Can we talk about the product for a moment? Yes. yes. Why is the tray carbon neutral? Because we've made it carbon neutral. 
but how? Uh, we've offset? Gone, yes, yeah. offset, and we've gone through every single aspect from the farm to the stores. OK, when you finish with it, you can't compost it because it's got paint in it. Yeah. The difficulty is we can't say what type of paint is going to go on the tray from the end user. So we are saying it's probably better you put it in your landfill where it will naturally degrade and then the layer of paint will just be left over. Don't buy degradable products cause a problem in landfill. This is like a, a paper product, so it's just going to naturally mulch. And, and um, just leave the paint behind. Yeah. OK, and what about the other products? Which bits aren't you happy with? Because there will be bits in here. Sure. Yep. Is the print... That's yes, all yes, vegetable, uh, vegetable link. Yep. Possible. Even, OK, I'll keep even, trying to catch you up. Even Let me keep time. going. What about the plastic dust sheet? So that's an oxybiodegradable <laughs> um, dust sheet, so that will um, be considerably better than any kind of version or, or just plain biodegradable dust sheet. OK, where is it made? The trays are made in China. The bagasse comes from Thailand. Have you explored the option to move the manufacturing to the UK? One of the first things we did was took uh, the manufacturing of, of our main brush product to the UK. Yeah. That was us that set uh, we that We would love to bring up. all of our manufacturing Everything to the over, UK. Yeah. I, I don't know if you know, but the, um, those black plastic paint trays, the factory that I own, we make the majority oh. of the UK bulk production. Right. And also, the sales team that's that I'm day-to-day -day involved with that look after all of the accounts, I can go to the same accounts and say, don't buy the plastic paint trays anymore, guys. I can sell you the best alternative. Right. OK. The entrepreneur's faultless presentation and impeccable eco-credentials spur Sarah Davies to reveal she has the potential to produce the pair's product at her fingertips. And her big sell hasn't gone unnoticed by Stephen Bartlett. When Sarah started telling you about her uh, paint tray factory, I got the sense that she was um, maybe flirting a little bit. So I wanted to ask, what is it you're looking for in a dragon? You want a dragon that has... Obviously, Deborah, for us, she's got the sustainability credibility. Um, but actually, I think one of the things that's important to us is educating, you know, getting the message out and really working on a digital platform. So you're saying you want me? I'm saying that that is definitely an area that is important to to educating our customer base. I think I think you're, you've lost the plot you've because the they plot. want me. You're, you're making the wrong decisions already. You know you're going to continue going to with a my new line dragon of questioning. Social you said, with, I mean, you said come that on, you have very five ambitious minutes here. plans. Hang on, what? <laughs> one at a time. So, don't worry about pizza. It's like what's don't the point? And it's the new, <laughs> the new upstart. Come on, give me a break. <laughs> let, me, let me teach you a lesson how it works because this is just noise, right? <laughs> noise, noise. <laughs> So let's get down to business. I'm going to make you an offer. And I can guarantee that I can get all your products into home base tomorrow. So I'm going to make you an offer for all of the money, and I want 25% of the business. Vampire. Fangs are flashed as the longest serving dragon and the den's newest recruit trade blows leading to an offer from Peter Jones. Does preferred investor Deborah Meaden have an interest in entering the fray? Guys, I love the product, but I love why you're doing it. You care about it, and certainly in this whole sustainability piece, there is a load of greenwash going on. Yeah. There's a load of people just talking about it, but it's the authentic ones that are winning through, because the consumers yep. get yeah, very absolutely. savvy. So you won't be at all surprised to hear that I, too, am going to make you an offer. And I'm going to offer you all of the money. I want 20% of the business. What? Thank you, Deborah. <laughs> OK. Um, I'll offer you all the money, 20% of the business. <laughs> Guys, Peter's feeling it today, isn't he? Yes. Not very often we see this going on. Um, right. I think you are clearly very credible business people. I think what you really need is specific help in this sector. And I assume you've done your research and you know that my family business is painting and decorating. Yep. So, I would also like to make you an offer. I would like to offer you half of the money for 10% of the business. And just for total transparency, the only dragon I would be interested in sharing with would be Deborah. With three potential deals already on the table, 
Joel and Nikki's position in the den is strengthening. But could an offer from one of their preferred dragons, Master of Marketing Stephen Bartlett, help propel their eco message to the masses? You guys are everything that I'm looking for. However, it really dawned on me when I saw Zara's face that she has way more passion than I do for this product. I don't do DIY. I've not held a paintbrush since I was a kid and I was trying to do art <laughs> badly. And that's the only reason that I begrudgingly have to say that I'm out. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I love the product. I love you guys. So I'm willing to give you all of the money for 20%. But I'm also willing to share with Peter to make this really go, if Peter wants. I think that's really interesting. Um, I love when good entrepreneurs come into the den, and I love it when I'm the first to recognise that and make an offer um, and spark the fury, because if I'm really interested in something, they're all interested. But take away the bravado when you sum up what this product is, you're walking in, and you're walking in for Deborah Meaden. Even I want Deborah Meaden. Because Deborah has done an incredible job with DIY and eco businesses, and they've done so well and continue to do well. Let me say what I would like to do. I would like you to do the right thing and pick Deborah. And I do not want to go forward with it. And I've never done this before because I just feel that everything that's right about your business, there's one person that can make that dream come true. And for that reason, I'm out. Thank you for that, Peter. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Appreciate thank you. that. Do we go and... Yeah, go to the back wall. ...by that wall? It's a den first as Peter Jones steps aside, leaving the other dragons to fight for the spoils. But it still leaves Joel and Nicky with plenty to mull over. Tuka Suleiman and Deborah Meaden are both seeking a 20% stake. Sara Davies will put up half the cash for 10% if Deborah Meaden will partner the deal. But all offers are for double the equity the couple had hoped to part with. So my first question, Deborah, would you be prepared to share with Sarah? I would love to go into business with Sarah, but I don't think it's this one. And is there any movement on your offer? No. What you've got to think is that you need to get value out of me, and to get value out of me, I've got to feel like I've got value. We feel like we want the dragon that we go with to um, also feel like they were Passionate. Passionate and, yeah. and, and getting a good return themselves. I'll just put us all out of misery and tell Deborah congratulations yeah. we'd like to accept. Yeah, go on. Thanks, Deborah. <laughs> well, well done. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, well done. Very yeah. much. You've got Thank a you. great dragon. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Well done, guys. Cheers. Joel and Nikki seal the deal and leave the den with the £85,000 they were seeking. And with the greenest of dragons now in their corner, they're off to paint the town an ethical shade of red. What just happened? I don't know what just happened. <laughs> I have no idea. That, that was, was mad. amazing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Maiden, that one cut deep. I would love to go into business with you, but the truth of the matter is, I wanted that one on my own. <laughs> <laughs> I could tell. I could tell. 